Morning. Welcome to day seven. So we are here at the reception of the lobby area of World Quest, we're just waiting on the shuttle. There's a shuttle bus runs from here Friday through to Monday, inclusive. It comes at 8.20 a.m. for uh, the ticket center, the, the transport ticket center at Magic Kingdom, where you can then jump on other transport to the other parks. We're going to Epcot today, because we have got a virtual queue for... Guardians of the Galaxy! Yeah. <laughs> We did, we all took the recommendation from It's Orlando time, went on, got the atomic clock running, had a couple of us, one checking the atomic clock, a couple of us uh, on the app, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing with 30 seconds in, in advance. And as soon as it hit seven, it popped up and we've got a, a time, well, it's an approximate time. It's about two and a half hours after park opening. So we expect that to be around 11 o'clock, but we're gonna check because it could come. It could come down, we've heard stories of people. Yes, keep refreshing your app after you get your boarding group because you can get earlier and earlier and you don't want to miss it. Absolutely. So we are, the plan is to go to Epcot this morning, do Guardians of the Galaxy, see what else we can do while we're there. We'll probably stay there till about lunchtime and then I think we're going to come back here, have lunch at the condo, chill out by the pool for a while and then make a decision on where we'd like to go for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. We Jesus. haven't... We haven't done that many off sites at the moment, um, and we want to try and start doing that now that we're getting towards the end. This is well, the end of week one, through. halfway. Yeah, we arrived last Sunday night, so uh, we want to start doing more off sites. We have a list of restaurants we want to do, um, and tonight might be a good opportunity to do one of those. So we will catch up with you when we get there, um, and we'll give you a review on Gardens of the Galaxy and update on what else we do at Epcot. Bye. 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 Okay, so we have just got off the shuttle at the TTC and we are about to catch the monorail to Epcot and we are going to run for it because it's coming in. We made it! We're run! Woo. Woo. That was, was just, a run, wasn't it? <laughs> we were just pulling up as we hit the ramp and we've seen it and we, we, we bolted. We got here just in time when she was opening the door. So You're always in a rush at Disney World, well, always, aren't you? Wherever you're going, it's like... Yeah. Even though even you will go with the flow and take it easy days, you're still always rushing them on there, aren't you? Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's kind of like going on a, on a ride. It is, it is like it? a ride, yeah. Now I can show you out the window, there is where we came in on the bus. If I show you out this way, you can see the Grand Floridian over there. First ride of the day, Spaceship Earth. We're going on five minute wait. It's nice and handy for Guardians of the Galaxy, which we should be called for in the next 20 minutes. This has got a really slow family ride, but it's nice to do to get out of the heat. It and is. It's also nice to know that in fact you're going around the inside of the big wall. Right here. We're here. Oh, brilliant. Straight on. Straight on. Still five minutes. Oh, we came straight up the uh, slope and straight on the ride. The main queue must be outside. Yes, that's brilliant. Are you excited? Here we go.
Okay, we can ask her that. And I lost Elsa in her blue colors play because she ran, because she wears the blue dress. She does, doesn't she? And Anna wears a rainbow dress. And which, which princess is your favorite? Anna. Anna. Oh, lovely. We'll have to see if we can find Moana as well, won't we? Yeah. Okay. Are you excited? How excited are you? I'm really excited. Can you see them? Can you see the princesses? Yeah. Wow. Are they both here? Yeah. Anna and Elsa. Do I need to scan? Show me his fire crystal. It was beautiful, it was glowing red just like yours. Nice and warm. They could prefer this X crystal. The ones that are cool. Do you prefer the summer sun or a bit of a winter flurry? Let's go too. Well, maybe we can build a snowman together soon. Maybe a friend for Olaf. I think he would love that. He loves warm hugs too. You can tell her you met Olaf already. You did. We did. Was he at the beach? <laughs> he was, wasn't he? He loves, he loves the summer sun. I hope he had enough snow screen on, otherwise he turns bright pink. <laughs> he looks a bit like a strawberry snowball. He tells us it's a snowman's version of a gorgeous summer day. <laughs> oh. We just have to make sure that Olaf doesn't put pickles in them like he did last time. To be fair, he is learning how to cook from Kristoff. He learned how to cook from the They use moss in a lot of their cooking. Personally, I think it's a lot better as a moss cave conceptor, but it's a pretty big staple around the tree. <laughs> Shall we stand together? Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much, Princess, for coming to visit. So we have just been called for our boarding on the Guardians of the Galaxy. We're just heading up here now. Here we are. It's cool, doesn't it? Does it cool? Are you excited, Jacob? wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same uh, Like his flash off. Hello, we are right like next it? to it. I'm really excited. Bye-bye.
So we've just met back up after doing Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my goodness, what an awesome ride. Totally loved it. Um, we were at the back, row number 10. I'm not gonna spoil it for you if you haven't done it yet, but that's the row you wanna get. Get row number 10 at the back and just trust me. Um, awesome ride couldn't describe to you i love the song that was playing apparently you get different songs in every ride um our song was dancing in september brilliant perfect song for the ride um anybody who gets this song let me know in the comments what you thought are you hot it's a hot day it is it's a hot day though. today isn't it been hot oh. every day. I mean, I'd still rather have this and have it, have it cold. It's well, okay. last time we were walking around the World Showcase, it was drizzling and we had our ponchos on. That's right, yeah. So we can't moan really, can you know, we? It just makes you appreciate when you get a bit of shade and you go indoors and get a bit of air conditioning. But I'd still rather have it hot outside, knowing it's going to be hot. Yeah, definitely. So here we are, just coming into England. This is my favourite part of the park, actually. I think it's beautiful up here the way they've done it and with it being the food and wine festival they've actually put a little pop-up in here for Ireland it looks really cute and the fisherman's pie and an Irish sausage and warm chocolate pudding cake oh sounds like heaven you can meet Mary Poppins over here there's the rose and crown I love this place and there's seating outside so you can overlook the river if you want to. We have arrived in France. Here's a Remy. And here is the Ratatouille just by the Skyliners. Look. And the boat. That's oh, good, yeah. It's 50 minutes for Ratatouille. We're going to jump in and do it. It's probably the lowest we've seen it while we've been here actually. Here and here we go. We will let you know how long the queue takes. Where are we? In the queue for Ratatouille? Yeah, yeah. So it keeps moving, but that's one thing we'll say with the longer line, but we keep moving. It's just hot when you're outside. So it's covered over but you are outside and there's no fans and so it's quite hot but I'm guessing the latter part of the queue will be indoors so you'll push it out and go much Yeah definitely, definitely. Yeah. Now we just brought ice water and pull them down by drinking that and sharing that out. We've had crisps and little snacks um, and yeah, just 15 minutes. We've probably been with you for 15 minutes. 15 minutes so far. I hope it's a bit quicker than the same. How are you two? Esme is hot. She's so hot that her jewellery started to melt. What? And it's nice, gone pink on her t-shirt. What has started to melt? Sorry. Her, her necklace started to melt. So there's a, a bit of advice. If they have any coloured pearls or anything like that, Frozen. don't wear them in the sunshine. So we have come to the inside bit. The theming is brilliant in here and it's lovely and cool. Now you can see that's where we were when we came through the door. The theming in here is just brilliant. Very nice. You really feel like you're up on the rooftops. You will find that the kids do get tired. <laughs> And with us having three, it's usually at least one yeah, of them having a meltdown. Yeah, you normally take it in turn, so... And to be fair, it was my turn yesterday, I had a yeah, right yeah. meltdown. One kid had it, then another, then another, and then Jem. So I'd agree, I'd, I'd agree with that. You, it, it was hungry though, I, I actually have a video, I watched it last night, and I will put this on yesterday's vlog, right. of, of him looking so angry before we went into Team No, but I wasn't, I was just looking forward to the food, so of course hungry. I wasn't angry. I'm I think that was your meltdown. Paul's very quiet, he doesn't necessarily verbalise when he's furious, but you can just see it in his face. <laughs> Whereas I'm just like, I erupt, I'm like, <laughs> A lot. <laughs> But yeah, you have to expect the kids to have meltdowns. Of course. The thing will. is, it's a fine that balance of squeezing in so much and doing so much, as well as understanding that they're young and tired and their legs will get sore. Ours do. 
it's normal fun. It's just trying to find that balance and take the break when you can and try and make the lines as enjoyable as you can. Okay, so we're going this. This is where you get your glasses. Oh, Jake, you look cool. Noah, is he? Oh, yeah, rocking those glasses. So we were just saying we entered the queue at quarter to twelve, and it's now twenty-five past. So forty minutes, and we're almost at the front. So we bored in the five minutes, so 45 minutes and they said 50, so reasonably accurate. And not too bad a wait really, plenty to see wasn't there? Yeah, they, and a lot, most of it was indoors um, and they keep changing to go through different parts of it and the different things to see, like they always do here, there's always, there's always things to capture your attention. So I'll try and film the rides so you can see, for those of you that haven't done Paris, and for those of you that have, to see if it's similar or not, yeah? Yeah, although it is 3D, so you might not get the full effect. So this looks identical to Paris. Let's go! Alright, James, are you ready, darling? Here's Lee. Or not. Hey, darling, you excited? You're going to love this ride. This is so Woo, cool. Woo, here we go. It's been years. When were we last in Disneyland Paris? 2017. Well, Jacob wasn't tall enough for it. Yeah, Jacob, have you done Remy? No. 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 This is the first for Jacob too. I thought it was very good. A wee bit motiony sometimes. It was. A, I felt a wee bit sick too. Noah, what do you think? You like it, Jacob? I love that. Yeah, oh, good fun. Good. Thank you. Oh, come in for the hug. Ah. Okay. Oh, say bye bye. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Bye, Daisy. She was a bit starstruck there, Jim. She was, you know, that's how she was with Goofy and Pluto as well. She was wanting to keep hugging him. I know, and her and Elsa. Oh my god, 
So here, park exit. There's the Skyliners. And to my left is the Friendship Boat. You just come around the corner. You can see the buildings here, it's just gorgeous. Because we're here! This is the beach club, the blue one. That's the yacht club over there with the yachts. It's the beach club with beach. Look at the beach, isn't that gorgeous? You see the beach and then you have the pool over there. Look at that slide up there, you see that boat? That's a yeah, slide. Top of that's a slide. Volleyball court, Jake. That's where this is how we bring them were, isn't it? Yes, that's right. If you're watching Bingham's, we watched your vlog, it was very good. I don't think they'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> so we just way. turn off here to the right and there's the beach club in front of you. It's a really handy way if you want to get your lift or your Uber quickly to get back to your own resort rather than coming out of Epcot and coming through the whole park again. Definitely quicker, wouldn't you say, Paul? Oh, absolutely, it's not just much quicker. It's still about a five, ten minute walk, but it's still quicker than wh where we were in the French Pavilion of going out and making it uh, the whole way through to the end of the Epcot again. No, it is just burning up. He's so hot, he's boiling. How are you, Jakes? Hot, hot. So and this is the beach club, and it is so lovely and cool. Look what happened to the bottom. Kate May down there. These are the caricatures. We've had them done for the boys. are quite fancy getting one done for Esme while she's here. Look, maybe a mermaid one would be very good. We'll see. And there's the prices of them. Yeah, it's a lovely resort. Really nice. Oh, it's the gift shop down here. The marketplace of food and gifts. There we are. Come down into the shop. This could be very, very dangerous. There's your pin trading for your pins, t-shirts. Oh, the home section. That has to be one of my favourites. Let's go and have a little look. Oh, once upon a vine. Look, the gold cutlery Mickey set. Oh, the fruit bowl. I do really like that fruit bowl. Oh, I like the cake stand too. Very, very dangerous. Oh my goodness, look at these. Winnie the Pooh cookie jars. Tigger cake stands. Be happy. Oh, bread bins. Mommy. Yes, Esme. I see something. Show me, sweetheart. What did you see? Phone cases. Do I have that one? Oh, it's a wee mini mouse. We have one of those at home. Fancy having your gift club in your food court. <laughs> There's your Mickey lollies and sweets. You used to be able to get these things on snack credits. Now everything's just the Disney dollar gift card. So if you were going to get a pack of the mini gummies, There's no price on anything though. Fifty Just brought you over to show you the Mickey celebration tarts. This was the one we had yesterday. You can get your pots of fruit here. Very nice. How it's doing. Look at this. Thank you, sweetie. Right, drinks refilled. We're good to go. Jake, you are so funny. See, they're happier now they've cooled down. Oh, it's lovely out here, isn't it? This is the main lobby area of the beach club. There's a car. Kids are playing around here in this car while we wait for our taxi. This is our ride. Going home in style. Playing by the pool. At world class just had lunch after a lovely morning in epcot um, the weather's still really hot it's like 33 34. Um, earlier i said it was going to be a storm around three o'clock and then the, the app changed and said it was just going to be cloudy and there's not going to be any storm at all a few clouds have come over um, and it's a bit breezy but i don't know i don't really care to be honest even the rain comes i'm just going to jump in the water it's warm rain anyway this is my life on holiday. I am 
the chef, I cook, I carry food, I carry bags, I bring drinks, you name it. <laughs> I'm just ge general dog's body. There he is, going for his dip. It is absolutely uh, lovely, it feels like bath water. How are you feeling today, Jim? Good. Good. What not to like? We've done rides on Guardians of the Galaxy. We had a lovely lunch uh, back in the apartment, and we got a dip in the pool for a couple of hours. And we may have some shopping and dinner later. Did you say shopping? Yeah. Are you going to take me to the outlet? Yes. Have you got your credit card ready? Yes. <laughs> You're going to need it. <laughs> absolutely. And I'm going to hit the uh, Tommy Hilfiger shop oh, hard. So am I, and the Michael Kors shop. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, oh, I need a new handbag. I've needed one for ages. I've been waiting for this. Okay. And I definitely want a matching purse. And obviously Christmas is only three months away. Okay. Well, that saves me thinking of him for Christmas, doesn't it? That does. Yeah. Yeah. But you know it has to get wrapped up and you don't get it until Christmas. Uh, have you ever heard of an early Christmas present? Yeah, you've been asking for those since February. <laughs> Daddy, do you want yes, to do Yeah. I will do it. Smile! Go, dear Dave. What's this, Mummy? Woo! 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 Yes, Go for it! Go. Woo -hoo! Good evening, guys. So, we are sitting here in the foyer uh, lobby area of WorldQuest. Uh, we just come down here, finished at the pool, up showers, creamed, dressed, uh, quick drink and then down we've ordered a lift to take us to Vineland Outlet so it's now about five o'clock the Vineland Outlet's opened about seven so we'll get the last couple of hours down there hopefully it's gone a bit quieter and then we're going to stay up that way and have dinner um Cheesecake Factory is probably favorite at the moment but we'll just see what's available and what's up there Cheesecake Factory is definitely on the list so we'll probably do it while we're there we have arrived at the Vineland Premium Outlets and I am happy. beyond excited this is like kids going to get droids but for adults it's great <laughs> here we go it's a good feeling to be back isn't it oh love it here so we're here yeah. so we're coming in we'll see Coca Cola and Victor yeah so Victor's also we want to find a left and yeah. it takes Sunglass hut. Yeah. There's Under Armour. Might have a little look in there later. We're very conscious of the kids and how much time we have, so we're making a beeline really for There's where we want to go. And I can see the sign down the bottom there, so we're nearly there. Coming into the area where the food court is, smell that food! Yeah. I think there is a Panda Express in there, Paul. There is, and there's a Shake Shack. Shake Shack as well. Oh, it smells good, huh? There's the air ticket booths. And here is Tommy Hilfiger, the outlet. Right next door to Mark Jacobs. Perfect. Oh wow, you don't need to go anywhere else, do you? <laughs> We're going in. As you can see, they have suitcases. Can you get any socks or anything? Umbrellas, sunglasses, caps, pants. This is all boys at the minute, or should I say men? Jimmy, you should get some of these. They're really cool. Look at those. Really nice. They are $16.50 and then they'll have 50% off. So $8.25. Just out of Tommy Hilfiger there. Um, it was good, but it wasn't as good as it was the last time we were here by way of choice. Um, I couldn't find a pair of jeans in the shop with my size and I asked them saying it's just whatever's out. Uh, the discount's still cheap when it is at home, of course it is, but not as good as it was the last time we were here. I mean, we got quite a lot in there. Jen got loads of jeans and things and we paid, I can't remember, but it seemed really good value at the time. 
Um, we didn't do too bad. We've got a uh, pair of trainers for each of the two boys. Lovely Tommy Hilfiger ones. I'll show you those later. Um, I got three pairs of boxers and three t-shirts. Um, and the whole thing was 100. The further discount was, oh, sorry, was $121 something. So about 100 quid with exchange rate today. Um, and that's for two pairs of trainers, three pairs of boxers and three t-shirts. Which I'm happy with that, I think that's quite good. We certainly would pay a lot more at home, so I'm not complaining. I just, slightly disappointed, Jen didn't get anything, she's in, she's in pieces. She was really looking forward to getting more jeans and stuff and the, the options just weren't there, unfortunately. So, um, she's away in the Kate Spade right now, so I'm sure she'll probably make up for it. And we're looking for Michael Kors also, so uh, we'll see how we end up. I'll catch up with you in a bit. It's just came up and then there's loads of lumps. Okay, so um, Noah actually had a problem with the flip flops he was wearing. Um, they're uncomfortable, so we actually put the new trainers on. And these are the new Hilfiger trainers we got. Um, are they comfy? Yeah. Um, and we got the same ones for Jacob. Um, and they were, yeah, $50 with 30% off, down to $35, and we got further 15% off. So, yeah, he's pleased with them. Cool on you, mister. So, I could be in trouble here. But she's willing to queue to get in. Let's see. Let's go across to the Disney World. Yeah, shall we? So I'm in my good course and I can't see anything I like. Isn't this just terrible? What a disaster. You couldn't write it, I swear. I'll give you a bit of a look, but they're all a bit fancy for me. So I have this one here and the purse. So it's kind of a classic one. I could get a different colour, I suppose. Thank you. But, oh, I'm just not seeing anything. I wanted something a bit different this time. So we're heading now over to the character warehouse. This is the Disney shop with all the merchandise from the parks um, where they sell it off at a fraction of what they're charging in the park. So we'll go over and have a look. That's where the boys are. I didn't get anything in Michael Kors. I'm overwhelmed. There's probably four different bags in there I like um, in all different styles. But I do really like the one in Kate Spade the best. So I think I'm going to go with the one in Kate Spade, I think. Oh, I can't decide. So we'll go over here. We'll have a little think. Here we go. Disney's Character Warehouse. So this is the Character Warehouse and you've got Christmas merchandise, bags in here, stuff for the home, there's the boys, got some baby Yonjis, cute! Got all your Disney bags in here too, which are quite cute. More Christmas stuff and Christmas jumpers. Oh, I really like these Christmas trees. They remind me of one that I used to have when I was young. What you got? Little baby Yoda's bag. Baby Yoda is from the Disney warehouse. Baby Yoda shoulder plushes. If you're wondering how they work, there's a little magnet in here and, little, and there's this little pouch with a magnet in it. And that's right, you put the little pouch on your t-shirt and then you set it on, he's got a magnet in his bum and it sticks together. It keeps it on there. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So we've been in Michael Kors. Where would you get the door for me, baby? And she wants to come back to show me come on in the Thank you. Have a look. Maybe you're done. Okay. The thing I like most about in here is the air conditioning. <laughs> and it's free. Compared to the Michael Kors one, but it's lovely, isn't it? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's definitely doesn't sound like as nice no, as the it other one. All very in at the minute. Oh, they really want the big obvious markers on them. Yeah, and I wonder, do I go for something like that? That's good. Yeah, well, that's got a a bit more size to you. Well, we are here in the Cheesecake Factory, finally. <laughs> so we're at the one near the Vinyl and Outlets. It's not exactly on the Vinyl and Outlets. We had to get an Uber. We probably could have walked here, but it would have been about a good 20 minute walk. It was across quite main roads. So we got an Uber. It cost like $9 or something. And it dropped us off outside. Now this place was packed. I know Cheesecake Factories everywhere are busy. But this was round, it was like an hour and 15 minute wait, it probably ran in about an hour and 20 minutes. But we're now seated, um, everyone's really hungry, kids are starting to get a bit tired, but uh, as is the case sometimes. Oh, it's hunger pains. So, Jake is going for the pepperoni flatbread, because he's a pizza king. Noah's having the chicken strips. He's going to have a bit of everyone's, I'm having the trouble honey. Yeah. Okay, you're having pepperoni flatbread. Um, I'm having. Tired, I'm having the tr honey truffle chicken, uh, and Mummy's having. Chicken Madeira. Oh, she's back to chicken Madeira. She, she's changed her mind. We waited so long. She's changed her mind about ten times. The menu's massive, and she's waited. She changed her mind about ten times. She'll probably change it again when the waiter comes. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video!